Oh, Jesus. Scared me. Okay, one pallet's gone. I don't know what to do with them, you know? Thing is, I don't want to throw anything away that I don't really understand. And uh, I don't understand what these tiles are for, why they are here, whether they're still good, whether they have any value of us. So for now I just want to keep them, but they're a pain in the neck because they uh, take up a lot of space. <sighs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> Money, it's just you keep on moving stuff. Good morning, YouTube. Today we're gonna do some important work, and that is breaking through a wall in order to make a door opening. In our plans, we are breaking through many walls, and this is to increase light and this the, the, the feeling of space. These houses are all built small. Keep the heat in, keep the warmth out. Small uh, and many, and many uh, rooms per house, but uh, we want to do it a bit more modern, open plan as much as we can. Now, the breakthrough we're going to do today, or at least uh, attempt to do, is going to be a door opening from the middle house to the small house, i.e., from the kitchen to the library yeah we need to decide where the door is going to be and then we can decide where the lantau is going to sit because we start we start uh, removing the bricks for the lantau we fit that first i don't need to uh, support the wall because this is a non-load bearing wall and there's not an awful lot of wall above here So yeah, I think I can get away by just cutting in the wall, breaking it open without the house collapsing on us. But it's a risk. So we made a rough sketch of where uh, the opening is going to be, where the lento is sitting here. There will be 20 uh, cm overhang on both sides. And then the door opening, or I don't know whether there's going to be a door, there's probably going to be a door at one stage, will be here. That's the door opening. We want to have the door opening uh, one meter. It's about a yard wide and then uh, we could fit even a door frame in it and all. That's better. I mean, the bigger the door opening, the less kitchen countertop you'll have on the other side of the wall. So everything needs to be considered. But, you know, having a super narrow opening that you have to slide through sideways, that's just not, not, a, not good. So, the lento is going to sit here, and the opening will be there. Measure twice, cut once. <laughs> So that is the dividing wall between the middle house and the small house. And the small house does not have a wall there. Uh, it's just connected to the wall of the middle house. It is a uh, non-load bearing wall, i.e. meaning that the roof doesn't rest on the wall. If we start cutting um, a large part out of the wall, then you have the weight of the wall above still, you know, uh, coming down. My plan was, in this case, to drill through this beam, through the wall, to the other side of the wall, through the beam there. There's also a beam. Let's have a look.
You see, there's also a ceiling beam. We're now in the kitchen, or what's going to be the kitchen. So, I can drill from one beam through the wall into the other beam. These beams are supported on the load-bearing walls. So the idea is, I drill, I drill through this beam, through the wall, through the other beam in the little house and stick a piece of rebar through. I can probably fit uh, six pieces of rebar. One, two, three, four, five, six. And at least the wall will be supported, that bit of wall above here will be supported by the rebar, just in case. I think that should work. Now, I have started cutting a little bit last Saturday, just to, to indicate the lines where everything is going to be. Um, I use my biggest angle grinder, but <laughs> that's, that's uh, really not enough. So, uh, we went to the Brico and bought a bigger one. A uh, 2200 watt uh, angle grinder with a uh, 230 mil disc. I'm not going to be able to cut through the wall in, in, in one go. Um, so I'll have to cut on this side and I'll have to cut on the other side. Now to make sure that we're, I'm cutting on the same, at the same place, to make sure I'm cutting in the same place, I will drill many holes in, uh, from this side to indicate on the other side, hey, connect the dots. Uh, cutting in, in, in the same way. Now it's not going to be a super super clean cut uh, but I'll finish the, uh, the edges uh, with, uh, with cement later on make it nice and straight straight as straight as you want to have it in an old house so I'm going to start drilling holes many holes
Hello. Give me a wave. Huh? Give me a wave. Can't hear you. Hello. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Wednesday morning today. Last Monday, we started drilling in those beams because we want to go from beam through the wall to the other beam, sticking in metal rods, rebar, in order to support the wall above it for when we start cutting the opening. Cut a bit, but not much. Um, found out that my drill bit was too short Monday. Had to go to the Brico, buying a longer drill bit. Massive. 50 euro, what can you do? Uh, yesterday I had a bad day, didn't sleep the night before, I was just running through possibilities and steps and scenarios and plannings and planning is key of course because otherwise you lose a lot of time, a lot of money and, and uh, the agony of redoing things, not worth it. So a lot of planning, therefore uh, didn't sleep well, therefore decided not to do any heavy lifting, any heavy work, therefore decided to get on the road and start chasing quotes and possibilities for window frames, for fenatres. I want to have this house done in two and a half months, so we got to think about window frames. Then the availability of window frames is six months at this moment. You, you, you won't be able to get a window frame, a freaking window frame, for in shorter period than six months, it's ridiculous. So, searching, 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 Nadia's on the phone all day, we finally have an option to get the window frames in a few weeks. Yeah, hopefully we'll do that. Um, so yesterday, running around, driving around another day, on the phone all day, on the email the whole day, Nadia, Nadia's basically having a full-time job, being on the email, arranging water, uh, another container because we've got more dirt to come out of the garden you know all these things that take time and then you got to start working at eight nine o'clock in the morning because here in France they have lunch at 12 o'clock and the lunch can take up to uh, one and a half two hours easily and then at five o'clock six o'clock they stop working so your days are really short back in other countries where I worked I would work the whole day then after work I would go to the DIY store to buy supplies or tools or parts that I needed then you have a whole work day you have the productivity of that and in your spare time you uh, you can shop around here you got to do it all in your work day because the Brico will just shut at 7 o'clock that's a bit frustrating but uh, Therefore, a, a good and careful planning is really paramount to this uh, becoming a, uh, yeah, a good undertaking, really. Okay, I'm going to carry on uh, drilling the holes through the beam, into the wall, through the other beam, sticking the rebar in, grinding the rebar off, and then after that job, we start uh, breaking down the wall. Cool, let's go. Six bars through the wall over a length of uh, I think it was 140 centimeters so that's what a little bit over 20 centimeters 
intervals should give enough support for the wall above. Gonna continue breaking down uh, the wall, creating a door opening. Hopefully today starting to install the land door. <laughs> you filming? Yes. Cool, so uh, both sides are free, top is free and uh, Never done this before. I, I just assume that uh, it's similar to felling a tree. I'm just gonna knock, knock with the big sledgehammer, with the big sledgehammer over here, and hopefully it will fall that way. Uh, but anyway, I'm hiding behind this wall. So uh, yeah. So please, Nadia, stay, stay back, stay back. Yeah. But you're oh. knocking that way, right? I'm knocking this way, but. If, if the brick comes off and uh, you know I don't think it will but yeah yeah okay there we go oh, you could probably just push it yeah yeah I mean it's it's brittle right it's good in compression strength but not in in uh, what do you call it when it pulls so it's not like a tree it will just this breaks when you pull it apart from each other so on a point would just break instead of bending yeah. no because it's brittle and the tensile strength is really low and the compression strength is high so okay there we go oh jesus All the way because we left the door open. That's right. Oh boy. What do you do? Close the door. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what a difference having this wall open. Seriously. Yeah. It's just fantastic. Completely different. Yeah. Now what I want to do today, still, is uh, installing the lento. Got to clear out the debris over there because the uh, supports are going to be positioned there under the lento. Clean up the cut, sand down the lento on the faces that you're going to see, clean it up, cut it to size, ladder it with cement, and pushing it up. I'm filling the empty spaces with cement and then letting it sit. That's what we're going to do.
quick update so uh what is it it's uh 5 20 it's time to knock off i'm done for today um done for today i said sorry um was distracted by the mail coming in um yep broken through demolished the wall make an opening safely uh nothing came crashing down no obvious tears or cracks or splits in the building itself which is good my system worked the beam in place you've seen me cleaning up the beam it was a bit a bit it needed cleaning up i wire brushed it i sanded it with a belt sander and also with a uh, the round little sander forget the name orbital sander yeah um so it's a bit tidied up. It will get a coating of a protective uh, stuff once it's uh, once it's really in. Um, I've put it in place. It is near horizontal, um, as horizontal as you can get an old beam which is not really square in a building that is not really square. But to the eye, for sure, it is horizontal, and that's what matters most. Um, you. I do like to use my spirit level, uh, but uh, you, you got to be really careful with it because if you start making things spirit level horizontal, they may seem out of place in contrast, uh, in comparison with, with other items, you know, that are crooked. So you, you got to be, you got to go with what, what works. Anyway, this will work. Um, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty, pretty happy actually. Um, I've supported it uh, with these two, uh, I don't know what you call them in English. In French they're called Etai. Etai. I don't know. Anyway, they uh, they are supported. Not that it really needs to, but uh, yeah. Tomorrow uh, I'm going to fill the gaps with cement. I do have a cement which is uh, chalk based, which we will use for the walls. Because... A, a lime based uh, cement has been used for these walls that's the traditional way of uh, of masonry work in France in old buildings but in this case I want to use Portland cement uh, why because it's bloody strong it's really hard it sets it's uh, yeah I, I rather for constructional things like this I, I rather use some Portland based cement mix uh, than a lime uh, cement mix. The lime I will definitely use for the walls. It's nice, it breathes, it uh, regulates moisture content in the building. Uh, I, I think it's a great natural uh, uh, way of building with, with, with lime uh, cement. Uh, but in this case, it's, you know, being able to breathe is not the most important thing. It just got to uh, sit in place and, and, and be neatly. Two additional supports. I have really no room to store anything. It's uh, it's terrible. I got to start moving things. Also, uh, I bought a big oak beam. That one there on the floor, four meter long, 15 by 15 centimeter oak beam. Bloody heavy. Gonna use these as uh, lintels in. Uh, this window we're going to place two uh, window frames in there and the opposite side this blind wall is going to have two windows opening windows um, and i'll install a nice uh, oak lintel above it cool because actually the beam that's there now i don't really trust so i just want to have that extra oak beam sitting on top cool um what else yeah um and this is going to be uh, an ongoing thing what i forgot to show you is uh, what i forgot to record is how i put that uh, linto in place it weighs about 60 kilos and it's uh, above my body height uh, yeah I, I lifted it up put it on a table and then moved it in position and uh, it's really heavy, really heavy. And these beams here too that I moved inside out of the trailer. I'm gonna, I could have asked Nadia, 
but she's sitting working in the van and I thought you know I have to do it myself because in two weeks time Nadia is not here and there's no one available to help because uh, all businesses are screaming for people at the moment so let alone there will be people to uh, to come and work here I have to be self-sufficient and uh, independent and I need to find ways how to move large and heavy objects in a manner that uh, that is sustainable so with trolleys and a hoist I, I should be able to work and I gotta be creative and think about ways to move heavy objects it's a shame the uh, camera stopped working when I put that thing in place uh, next one you will see you will have plenty more to install bigger ones as well um, another problem that's going to be an ongoing problem is fucking rubble. It's just, you know, it, it, it takes ages for me to put this in buckets, load the buckets in the trailer, bring the trailer to the deschatterie, to the tip and unload them there. It's really going to take ages. I, I probably have to dump them in the garden and then at one stage rent a container and a digger and do it all in in one go because uh, yeah I, I don't I, I I think putting this in the garden dumping it in the garden is already enough work so yeah that's something to consider um, further uh, priorities are to have this small house done in two months and that done means concrete floor with floor heating electrical floor heating tiled two windows on this side two windows on the other side loft finished roof finished everything finished painted and uh, rendered and outlets electrical outlets lights everything needed to live in oh chimney we ordered a chimney we haven't got a uh, in a, a fireplace yet but uh, we're working on that one there's plenty for sale small little wood fireplace chimney and then electrical floor heating yeah uh, plenty to do in the coming two months a lot to do right I'm gonna take uh, a rinse and then uh, park the trailer where she needs to be she's loaded with uh, dirt drive the van back to the camping Take a shower and then go and do our laundry and shopping. See you tomorrow. Hey, sweet. Hi, babe. Quickly mixing up some uh, mortar to uh, fill the. Uh... See, so you put too much water. Yeah, I did. It's like a like a cake mix, darling. Any yeah. kind of uh, mix, you add, you can always add more water. Yeah, I know. It's been a while. Today, what did we do? Freaking lot of driving. Mont Brisson to pick up three window frames, then to the other shop, the same brand in Moulin. Pick up one window frame, because we needed four for the small house. In the meantime, uh, De Chatterie, the tip with uh, a lot of debris uh, and now uh, just quickly uh, putting some mortar around that window uh, around that uh, lentil lento. So, lento yeah so that uh, we can take these uh, etai, etai what do you call them etai. Those, etai, those stands out and uh, in order to position those beams wooden beams that are not standing up they should lay flat we're going away for the weekend they should lay flat because it's all young wood it's gonna bend
looks really great. Yeah? Yeah, I'm really proud of you. Really good job. Yeah, it's also nice that it's not a uh, very new beam. No, I don't like really like the look of the new ones. It's got uh, signs of wear and tear. I just gotta sand it up. Uh, by the way, Nadia, I found a hole where the bees where the the, the bees live. Oh, the bumblebees. I told them they have to vacate before Friday. Okay. What do they say? I don't know. They said. <laughs> They're so funny, those bees. I love them. So now, yeah, the hole is here. There's one actually going in right now as we speak. And there's a second one. Oh, yeah, you know what? Go in. Break, this, break this rendering down. Let's see what's behind it. See if there's a nest. I mean, it's very, very difficult to relocate a bumblebee nest, I was reading. Can you break that down? Well, where's the, where's the let's give him a, jackhammer? It's away, but let's give him until Monday. Yeah, Monday. but if you break it down, maybe we're going to see there's a whole fucking nest behind this wall. Let's just have a look while we're here. Come on, the stuff comes off so easy. Otherwise, I also read that it's only going to be for a couple of months. A couple of months? Yeah. Let's just see if there's something we can find. I don't like doing this, guys. I really don't. Because of the bees? Huh? Because of the bees? Yeah. There, there, there. Oh. oh. He's pissed. That's a male. He's not going to sting you because they can't. Oh, no, he's not happy. No, he's not happy. Oh, buddy. That's the second one that's come out. Keep going along that line there. There you go. I think that's their nest there. In there. Yeah, we're sorry, guys. Well, you need to know this is not, you know, I'd rather you go out than we cement you in. I think that's the little lava. Can you see the lava? You see those little white balls? Oh, right. That was their... I think that was their little thing. Let's just see what they do. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I think they will... Do this thing? If they're male, no. Oh, guys. Four, yeah, four. That was, I think that was it. Will they relocate now? Hopefully. Oh, no, they're going in, in that way. So. Further? You see, watch them. Should I open them more? Yeah. See how they're going in there? That's yeah. where their little thing is, I think. Let me just take this away. Yeah. Watch out. Hold them. Wait, you're killing one. Okay. Watch it, just be gentle because there's one in there. Yeah. Now. Yeah, you'll be able to write. It's good you give them time to get out of there. Let's uh, give them the weekend. Is that good? Is it bon? Yeah.